गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून भाई हो आओ यू गैस होप एवरीथिंग येट अनदर ड्राइव येट अनदर वीडियो सॉरी फॉर द इंट्रप्शन साउंड सोनी है ओके वेल आई हैव ओके लॉट्स अबाउट कैन एंड नॉन सेंस ओ यू गैस बस भी बन रही है How come uh, I can guy talking about Canon lenses, right? Uh, s- s- sounds fishy. Maybe some people will think, okay, he's gonna brag about Nikon lenses. Uh, he gonna ditch the Canon lenses. No, no, it's nothing to do. It's about it's about sharing knowledge. Simple as that. Uh, why Canon lenses are white? that's something related to heat uh, apparently if anybody who is good in physics will definitely going to think about okay white color absorbs less uh, heat black color absorbs more heat so it's more of a condensation and uh, uh, and all these parameters related to physical parameters which uh, has tendency to change the um uh, focusing and sharpness of the lens so can i have care it has not apparently it looks like it is related to heat that uh, that's why canon using the white color in their lenses and the outer color is white uh, and uh, nikon is still using black waalaikum salam shaheb how are you but okay uh, making story short this is more about the fluoride element nikon uh, canon is using fluoride element fl it's right fl fluoride element for a very long time in their telephoto lenses especially the big honking lens like uh, 300 400 500 600 800 1200 1200 so these big honking lenses all of them mostly are all of them are using fluoride lenses and fluoride uh, lens or the fluoride element has this tendency to break the glass and sudden change in heat and fresh pressure this is one of the top reason uh, nasa is not using uh, canon lenses to go into the space because at the time when the space shuttle was Uh, exiting down the atmosphere there is a bang boom so that creates vibration and heat that vibration and heat uh, basically uh, makes fluoride element to crack the glass and that's why nasa cannot take canon lenses into the space that's one of the top reasons and into the sports okay why canon use fluoride element I can just start using for light element like 70 to 200 and uh, 300 fp and the new one uh, your uh, 200 to 400 these are all for light elements why can i using now oh, sorry why i can using now why why did it start using uh, like canon for a very long time canon is basically focused their marketing on more of the telephoto like into sports action that's where they dominated and they still dominating let me be very honest uh, the reason of using for light element because the more f- the higher the focal length the more heavy the lens becomes and to reduce the weight of that lens you need to have compound elements into the glass which are less in weight so that's why canon use for light elements in their canon glasses and that's one of the reasons most of the professional because of the traveling logistics and blah blah they prefer to use canon glasses because of the light weight easy to handle that gives you less fatigue uh, and all those easy to maneuver maneuver you know among the among all those trees and stuff if you are shooting wildlife so that's one of the few top reasons canon using for a light element I can never use that till we have now uh, since 2017 I can start using full white element in their lenses uh, 72 200 2.8 FL a new one is one of them 
uh, the first one which used for right element then we had uh, we just uh, in 2018 I guess early 2018 we had 200 to 400 f4 with 1.4 telegram with built in so that's also how we used for right element now these lenses cannot go cannot take uh, much heat and vibration like that's that is there any sudden change in temperature or is there any sudden pressure for what as a full light element cannot take that and it's gonna break the glass so that's one of the key things about uh, for right element it uh, it's, it's all about trade-off you are reducing the weight to have less fatigue and easy to carry around but at the other end you are you cannot uh, have a sudden thing that you are you you are ending up with a lens which cannot tolerate much heat which cannot tolerate much uh, pressure sudden change of pressure so that's the disadvantages of having fluoride element now of course uh, somebody will say oh wow uh, none of the canon glasses ever we have seen break or anything well if you check the history you will see uh, if there's any sudden change in temperature sudden change in uh, pressure fluoride element breaks the glass and that's why the canon use the white outer case to have less immune towards changing in temperature because white color have just a ten tendency to uh, the uh, cold thing cold and warm thing warm so black basically absorbs uh, heat more than white we all know that so that's it that was it guys why canon lenses are white it's of course it's uh, about temperature but it's more of a utilization of the fluoride fluoride element into the glass as a compound not coating compound coating is different compound is different compound is basically the element which makes the glass coating is just basically a polish over the surface of the lens to avoid reflection inner 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 uh, glass element reflection which reduce ghosting and stuff so that's was it hope it will help you guys take care bye